Hey everybody, welcome back to Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben. I've been looking forward to this bourbon. Well, to be honest, I've been looking for this bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> and you finally found one, so I think we should bring it on in. We've got, bam, Old Forester single barrel barrel strength. Well, as you said, you've been looking forward to this one. I've been looking forward to this one as well because I bought this one a little while ago. Yeah, the schedules didn't work out very yeah, well. Yeah, so. and we wanted to do the fresh mm -hmm. um, tasting of it on the channel here. So it's been sitting on my shelf for a couple of weeks and it's just been a haunting torture. You? Yeah. yeah. So this is Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength, 129.9 proof. If, if you're new to this show, I love Old Forester. Mm -hmm. You call yourself the? The Brown Foreman Truffle Pig. When it comes to Old Forester and Woodford, because I can usually just pick, I can sniff them out of a lineup mm -hmm. 99 times out of 100. 99 times out of 99 and a half. And so I was excited to get this because this is the first one of these I've owned. Now I've, I've tasted other ones and they've been exceptional. So looking forward to this. I saw one at a lottery once, a bottle, mm -hmm. but I didn't win the opportunity to get that one. And uh, this is only the second bottle I've ever seen of it. So it's exciting. Yeah, well, you should... Hmm. It's got a great nose on uh, it. Do we know the things like age? No. I'm guessing... They, they might say it like somewhere... Looking at the color of the, the juice, which mm -hmm. I know people don't like the word juice, but go with it. Um, <laughs> it looks like well-aged. Like it, it, it does. It's very dark. Very dark and rich. But it's, and also, it's also high proof. High proof, proof do that. and the thickness, um, density, viscosity is there. So... All of the characteristics of a really high quality bourbon are in the glass. So I think it's time to find out if it if lives up to the hype. All right, let's do it. Cheers. You know, it's almost like they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. It is, it's so, so good. I will say this. Mm. As the resident brown form and truffle pig, mm -hmm. what I was going to say about the nose actually is the higher proof makes it a little bit harder, I think. I think if you put this in a blind versus I, other ones of the same proof, I may have a little more of a difficult time than I do picking out the ones that are around that 100 or 90. I am not getting traditional Old Forester type notes. It's, it's a little different, right? I mean, that's... It's very rich bourbon. Mm -hmm. But it's not, I mean, there's a few other brands that really do really high quality, high proof bourbon. Yeah. And this competes with some of those, but I'm not getting any Old Forester specific notes. I'm getting it on the palate much more. Kind of on the back end, you're getting a little bit of that, but the banana bread, banana note. Still, I'm not getting that. The molasses. The molasses, definitely. <laughs> the really rich, dark, burnt brown sugar. Yeah. Um... This is so good. What else? I was gonna say almost cherry-like because there's like the really well-aged. I was gonna say cherry as well, to yeah. be honest. Kind of comes across. But then it has this interesting, I almost use the word weird, because I don't notice it a lot. It's got this, like the molasses kind of dark note, mm -hmm. but then on the finish, it has this light toffee that sticks to your tongue. Okay. See, I always associate Old Forester. I know people really lean hard into the banana note. And it is there. Mm -hmm. I think it's there a lot. But I associate with like the, the really dark notes, like you said, that molasses dark mm -hmm. note. Old Forester is a dark, rich bourbon. All yes. of their expressions are. It's really, really interesting. And 90 bucks. Wow. 
And I think they usually run around 80, but they were 90 at this particular store, so whatever. I mean, 10 I bucks over. I literally never seen one for sale. I saw one a, maybe like a year or two ago, and I didn't buy it mm. just because it wasn't in the budget at the time. Sure. And I always regretted it, mm. you know? And so when I saw this one, it's like, okay, I had to. This was in the, one of the bourbon hunting videos I picked it up at MGM down in uh, Chaska. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is great. So, I mean, I think. We've had a conversation about the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Won't bore you with the whole thing. If you've seen our other videos, you know our stance on these. They're his, getting his stance. They're, they're, they're getting better. I think they they plateaued and they're getting better again. Yeah, but they were all starting to kind of taste the same. Mm -hmm. Same proof, same you know kind of whatever. Yep. This being around the same price, if there was an Elijah Craig barrel proof or one of these on the shelf, I am going to reach for this one first. If I've got eighty or ninety bucks only to spend, I think I'm going with this one. Yeah. Would you? So for for one bottle, yes. Three to four times a year, I'd have to try a second one of these to see if they vary. Because mm -hmm. this is great, but well, and it's it's a single barrel, so it's definitely going to vary. But it's know. it's going to be so. There's a category of bourbons um, that have the Maker's Mark Limiteds mm -hmm. that are about the same price and a little bit hard to find. The um, Elijah Craig. Barrel proof, barrel RC proofs. barrel proof, yeah. yeah. And there's a few others, Jack Daniels is even in there, um, that are releases a few times a year, and this is absolutely in that category, but I'd like to oh, try yeah. one, more than one. Yeah, this competes with any of those. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Yep. And you know what I find interesting is I've, I've never had a, you know, a birthday bourbon, or like they even have like the President's thing, or the, the 150th anniversary. Sure. Now I don't know the, the proof on the 150th anniversary ones, but I think the birthday bourbon is kind of a standard like 90-ish or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it's cask strength, and so or uh, barrel strength as they call it. Mm -hmm. If I just, how can, what can they possibly do to like a lower proof bourbon that can make it compete with this? If it's you're into high proof it's stuff, barrel not, not everybody selection. is. It's barrel selection. But I just wonder, can a can you select a number of barrels that? And again, if you like high proof stuff, I know not everybody does, and so there's definitely different marks for that. I happen to love the high proof stuff. So if you're gonna put this in a glass next to say birthday bourbon, and again, I've never had it, it just makes me wonder hmm. what is so special about that, that that one's allocated, impossible to find, goes for thousands on the secondary market. This feels like a science experiment we should endeavor. If you have some Old Forester birthday bourbon, send it our way. <laughs> well, there's that, I appreciate it. But I was thinking, we, I think we need to investigate what are the best low proof bourbons. Yeah, or, well we kind of done that with proof points. Well, we kind of have, but Maybe talk to our viewers a bit and, you know, really try to hunt and find what's the best 80 or 86 proof, maybe, you know, bourbon. Old Forester 86. You know, it's pretty <laughs> I would good. probably it, say it is. It is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I tend to like Evan Williams stuff. But These consistently win in blinds for me. Yeah. Old Forester Yeah, do. Old Forester wins in blinds for me as well. It does, and you haven't always been and a fan. Exactly. You didn't really like Old Forester at first, and then but you do them blind and, yeah. yeah. So, well, this is fantastic. I would totally recommend getting a bottle of this if you see one. At the price point, I, it's a still a recommend. If it's 90? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I would pay that again. Mm -hmm. um, this is every bit as good as a lot of allocated, hard to find stuff or more expensive the reality stuff. reality is better in many cases because yep. some of the allocated stuff shouldn't be allocated and shouldn't be hunted for. Yeah, absolutely. And now, these are not easy to find. As you True. said, you've never seen one. Never. but. Um, yeah, that's a that's an automatic buy for me. I think, I think so. anytime I see one. Yep. All right. Well, this has been Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time. <laughs>